I'm standing on Mobile's Government Street in the long block west of Hallett Street. Behind me at what was number 1115 was constructed in 1893 a grand mansion by attorney Gregory Little Smith. Smith had the honor of being offered a position on the Alabama State Supreme Court before he was age 30. He turned them down. He ended up being the attorney for the l and Railroad, First National Bank of Mobile, and many other big corporate entities in Mobile. The house was designed by Rudolf Benz at a cost of $9,500 in 1893. The newspaper termed this unusual house to be in the English castellated slash Louis XIV style. That's quite a combination. The house had five large bedrooms on the second floor and a nursery. On the first floor were double parlors, a library, a huge dining room, and a reception room, which the newspaper gushed with the most beautiful room in Mobile with Morris grill work and heavy, heavy carving of all the woodwork. In 1910 or thereabouts, Mr. Smith and his wife decided to remodel the house. By the 1910s, this Queen Anne style was not very popular, and so they called George B. Rogers, a local architect in, and he gave them a completely new facade on that 1893 structure. Gone were the towers and the grill work, and it was all replaced by a very tasteful colonial revival facade. And that's how the house looked up until the end when it burned as Dobson's boarding house. The family sold it in the 1950s, it had become apartments, then finally a boarding house, and by the early 1980s it caught fire. The origin of that fire has never been determined, but it burned to the ground and it's been replaced by a Taco Bell restaurant.